Hey everyone! So yesterday I appeared in the Gearcraft Weekly Show as a guest. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to check it out. Um, but after we recorded it, we played a bit on the one in the quiver map that they have on the server. And they had a cool plugin where when you hit a person, the sort of amount of damage that they took appears um, above them. And I believe there is also a mod for this called Damage Indicators. Um, it does basically the same thing. Um, but I thought it would be a really cool thing to try and make in Vanilla Minecraft. And I thought it would be quite complicated to do, um, and I wanted to challenge myself. But it was relatively easy. Um, and it's actually downloadable as a schematic, um, so you can get that in the description. Um, it's not in one command because it uses a um, color code sort of exploit um, to get the different colors, um, which I think just makes it like 10 times cooler. Um, so it's not one command, but you can get it as a schematic. It's easy enough to import into, into a world. Um, so all you need to do is press this button here to get it started and it says vanilla damage indicators by Samosaurus 6 features damage taken is shown as red numbers that appear above the player uh, damage dealt is shown as green numbers that appear above the mob or player you're attacking um, youtubers please leave a link to the channel and you may use this in a map as long as you provide credit um, so let's just show this in action so let's just want a bunch of villagers um, if I hit the mob um, you can see that the amount of damage appears above their sort of heads um, and it vanishes after two seconds of being shown um, and obviously the different swords do different amounts of damages and it's just a really cool sort of way of visualizing it um, unfortunately due to the way Minecraft works you cannot see how much damage is dealt in the final sort of killing blow um, but that's just a limitation with Minecraft really, I can't really fix that. Um, but it's pretty cool how it works. Um, and if I go ahead and spawn maybe a witch in and go into survival mode and wait for the witch to miss completely, there we go. Uh, you can see the amount of damage that I take is displayed um, sort of above me as well. Um, and it ranges from numbers 0.5 to, geez, that was quite a strong hit. Um, it ranges from numbers 0.5 to 10 plus. After it reaches 10, it just says 10 plus. Um, because you basically need a command block for each one of these. Um, I'm going to give myself some health before I die. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Whew, that was close. Um, let's kill the switch now then. There we go. Um, and obviously if you take less than 0.5 damage then it will do a sort of less than symbol uh, before the amount of damage you take. So if you're wearing armor for example and you're just getting hit by a cactus um, it doesn't exactly deal um, 0.5 each time, it'll just sort of round it uh, down. Um, so it's not, it's not very accurate and it's done in whole heart so 0.5 is half a heart. Um, I believe the damage indicators mod does it as um, sort of whole numbers. Um, but I th thought it was a really cool thing to sort of try and make and it wasn't too difficult to actually do. It just uses stat dot um, damage dealt and stat dot damage taken and sort of just tests uh, so it executes um, from that player and then executes, this is for the damage dealt, but it executes um, from the mob which is hurt, so I'm actually using hurt time, I believe that's down here, yeah, hurt time of 10s, so if a mob takes damage, um, then they get the hurt time, I think this guy is going to, yeah, he's going to get killed instantly, um, but it'll display above their head instead of yours, which I'm, I'm really happy that I got that working, because I didn't think I would be able to. Let's see how it works in fire. That's interesting. While I'm actually in the fire, I take less than 0.5 damage. I'm going to die. Let's see what it looks like from up here. 5.5. 5. 
I don't know, I think it would be kind of cool in like PvP maps or some sort of some sort of way in survival so you can measure how much um, damage you've taken when falling down stuff, building mob traps or anything like that. Um, and it's just a cool little thing that I made in a very... I made it very quickly actually, I'm surprised at how quick it was to make, maybe about half an hour or something like that, um, including the uh, color codes. Um, the way the color codes work is it sort of uses a clickable sign, how you can use um, commands when you click a sign, um, to edit the block data and sort of import the um, section symbol as a, as a sort of Unicode um, string. So it's kind of a bit hacky with that. I'm not sure if it will work forever, but I think it definitely makes this a lot cooler and allows you to easily see whether it's damage that you've dealt or damage that um, you've taken. Three. Um, but I think it's really cool and I'm really happy with it, so... Yeah. So yeah, the schematic will be available as a download in the description. Um, and that's really about it. Um, there's not really much to it other than just using scoreboard objectives and executing commands based on that and summoning um, an invisible arm stand with the value as a custom name. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of this video and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.